This is not an MQ-24. This is not also a QNQ. Just thinking now. Can you cheat on geography test? Let's see what this watch is capable of. Well, this is a 34 millimeters in diameter. And the lock to lock, mm, same, 34 millimeters. With the crown included, we get a 36 millimeter display. And the height of this watch is 8 millimeters. Does these dimensions are similar to the MQ24? I think so. Yes. I will confirm on the display. Yet, we see that this strap is not the original one and I'm not sure for this model which is the original one. This is an MQ57. Have you ever seen this kind of watch? The internet is very resilient in showing us information about this watch. But I have here an MQ24 strap which I will replace this QNQ strap with. Let's see what we can do. Good, now <clears throat> first we need to take down this QNQ strap but I am so how a little afraid because this is very tight and I do not have sufficient space to insert this removal tool and I am also afraid because this watch might be old enough to have old plastic case which will break very fast. Good now we have taken out one strap let's take out also the spring bar from it oh my god this is so hard to remove it let's try to remove the other strap this was easy okay now i have released the old straps let's see if the new ones will fit yes they will fit perfectly and take a look these straps have sufficient space for letting you put the removal tool in between the case and the strap so that you can easily remove the spring bar. Prior to place the strap, what I will do, I will just take out the back case. I'm so curious how this watch looks inside because... Whoa! It is very tight everything is very tight so this watch uses an LR921 battery and the module is very tight it's just a small module and we have a plastic which assures the correct position into the case well I'm not sure what MQ24 module has but it might be very similar to this one and if we take a deep view it is written something there i do not have a magnifier therefore i really really cannot tell what type of module this watch has it might be a miota it might be an epson i do not know definitely i do not know i will just clean it a little because we see a lot of dirt here for sure the rubber seal made its job perfectly and did not let the dust enter into the case but i will clean it with a moisture napkin then we will continue replacing the strap now i would propose to see a list of casio watches that use the same model as mine the 371 module therefore we see here an mq41 watch which has this cool design also the bracelet is somehow beautiful and yet different here is the mq24 the one that i have told you and uh, this one does not share the same module although we have the same case and the strap is the one that uh, i used for my mq57 another one would be the mq336 which is somehow like the PRX from Tissot. This one as well has the 371 module and uh, the back case is the same as for the MQ24, M57 and 41. Here is another MQ41 with uh, this design 
yeah a lot of color combinations uh, from Casio side and these watches are all related to the 1980s and this would be another one this is the MQ44 yet another cool design but we see that this strap it's not the Casio strap so it's not for, for Casio it fits but not for Casio yeah this is kind of all that I could find on the internet now let's clean it a little good and now let's make sure that it is placed in the correct position so this has to be so the Castio logo needs to be at 12 o'clock position we've closed it and it works it works pretty well Europe it's cleaned as good as I could I did not insist that much because in the end it was just uh, dust now let's try to take the spring bars from the strap from the old strap we just have to be careful not to damage the strap and also not to damage the spring bar because in the end these are very important now the spring bars are removed and yes they work correctly i like these thicker spring bars they they present so much thrust we have the shorter strap with the buckle this goes at 12 o'clock position and normally they should fit perfectly exactly perfect perfect i am so satisfied i want to highlight again that this is an mq24 strap perfect perfect good good okay what to tell you about the strap it is an mq24 strap this is an mq57 watch with the model 371 the strap suits perfectly and yes it resembles with the mq24 and again we will have to check the dimensions on the internet for the mq24 but i guess it's the same the strap fits perfectly and yes we have that small gap which lets us easily detach the spring bars from it what i was saying is that the information from the back case is not that much basically we have the Casio logo the module and module name the back is made from stainless steel and yes it is water resistant japan c i would presume that this model is made in japan and also the watch do you want to know how it looks on a thin wrist let's see so in the end it is a very small watch but <laughs> It's funny it's funny that it fits pretty well also on small wrists so also on man's wrist and you do not feel it like yeah for sure it, do, it looks like a child watch but in the end it's a Casio and uh, yeah Casio is an iconic brand therefore you do not have to worry about uh, any judgments from the people because in the end if you choose to wear this geographical watch this uh, watch that has the uh, western europe map it's because you it was your choice so nothing can stay up front your choice if we take a look on the bezel or on the glass i'm not sure if it is visible on, on the camera but we have light scratches so very very small scratches they are visible but i would not polish it yeah in the end we have here another cool watch it is an mq57 which is somehow um, similar to the mq24 watch nice to have it in your collection because in the end it is a very special watch first of all it is very 
rare at least the information from the internet it's very rare and it's it is also special because it has these uh, 12 uh, flags from 12 countries we have the great britain uh, denmark uh, germany but if it is up rg so it's federal republic germany Ooh, i would say that this is prior to 1989 hmm, i'm not sure if some of you have any information in regards this uh, this model of casio please feel free to write in the comments in the end the internet is full of mq24 and yeah why not use an mq57 which has this Western Europe map. Thank you, thank you for your attention. This was a shorter uh, video, but in the end, I guess you would enjoy it because yeah, the watch is nice. I recommend it.